the hat man. Hi, you must be here for the cool tutorial stuff, but, oh, you in the back. You say you don't know what this is all about? Well, my sweet summer child, let me tell you the story of the great Microsoft bands. Uh, yeah, so Microsoft saw the Apple smartwatch and was like, we want watch money, and then rushed a product to market. They then rushed the second iteration to market, and when sales were down, they gave up like wimps, even though the third one was actually completed and was ready to ship. It went by fast, so that's why you haven't heard of it. Rest in pepperonis. For those of you who thought it was cool and kept it, hi, you probably don't need these tools. But for those of you who are tech nerds and want to use this defunct device, I'm here to show you how you can get past the setup screen for bands that have been reset or bands that are brand new. The process I will show you will work for both bands, so don't fret about that. I also want to show you how you can update your band 2s and customize both bands. Officially, these things are not possible. No currently available Microsoft software in the archives or otherwise will let you use a band. However, this is where the community comes in. It's thanks to the community that there are tools to allow the bands to continue to have functionality well past their end of support. Now, here's the big asterisk. What these programs do includes customization and updating, but what they will not do, and what likely won't be done without a Herculean effort by the community, is bring back the smart features such as SMS and calendar syncing. Alright, without further ado, let us move on to the good stuff! Okay, this is your time to download stuff. In the description below is the link. You will be taken to my homies and my band archive on GitHub. On the screen is the name of the files you need. Once you have them, you can move on to the sections of the video that you need. For this part, we will be using the program named Band Unlocker. First things first, choose a location to extract the program to. It does not need to be installed. Next, connect your charging cable to your PC. OK, turn on your band. Now you can connect your band. Now. Navigate to where you saved the program and launch it. There's a chance that your firewall will block it, but it's safe. Just tell Windows Security to F off. Also, if you are doing things out of order, note that the Band Sync app cannot be running at the same time as the Band Unlocker. Once connected, the program should read the device as shown in this area. Now that the device is detected, you can click the unlock button. After that finishes, you can then do basic customizations of the menu. You can choose a stock color scheme, and you can choose which apps to have visible. Since the color schemes do not have previews, it will be easier to change things in the Band Sync app later in the video. I will now demo moving around the apps. The apps on the left are not visible on the home screen, and the apps on the right will appear on your band. Okay, next up, the Band Sync app. Now that your band is unlocked and ready to go, you can do some basic customizations using the Band Sync app. Let's go over the features. 
For Band 2 only, you can update the firmware. For both bands, you can perform basic customizations of the interface and edit the user. Note, the dashboard no longer works. There is no installation, it runs out of its folder. So, copy and paste the contents of the zip to a folder of your choosing. Then create a shortcut to the mainnet exe highlighted here and start the program from there. Now, the first thing you should do is click settings and turn off open automatically at start. Next, you may head to the profile tab, manage tab or personalize tab. When you finish with any tab, make sure to click save. Don't forget to also sync the band on the main page. Okay, now I'm going to show you what's inside of each tab. Lastly, here is a note from the programmer that fixed this program to make it update again. Firmware 2.0.5202.0 is now integrated into the app and the update page is made accessible via the firmware check button. The page is only displayed if it is a band 2 and if the version is lower than 2.0.5202.0. Otherwise, an error occurs. I have successfully updated two band 2s with it. Use this at your own risk. Well, there you have it. That's how you get going with the bands post discontinuation. In the linked archive, you will also find Windows 10 mobile apps slash Windows 8 mobile apps that we have found that can add more tiles to the bands. You will need Win10M or 8.1 on a phone or tablet to use them, of course, and some may work on Windows 8 or 10 desktop as well. Have fun tinkering with these. Now, leave a comment if you got your band working, or if you made it this far, like a champ. If you have any ideas for future videos, comment about that too. I'm always in the market for something new to do. Also, I hoped you guys liked the new tricks and visuals I tried out. I'm always trying to improve, so let me know if you liked it. Okay, I'm off to go work on the next video. So, hasta luego, guys and gals. See you in the next one. Peace.